Harry also mentioned that you were one of the senior players that texted him saying that you wanted to become the next thing the manager. Yeah, I clicked that off. I didn't t- text Harry Redknapp's personal phone. I've never had his personal number, but I'm a big fan of Harry and I'm close friends with Jamie. Yeah, I had a conversation with Jamie round about the time when Harry was on everyone's lips. He was the favourite and it was only a matter of days before he was going to be manager. And I said to Jamie on the phone, you know, send me best to your dad and if he gets the job, we'll all back him and we'll support him. Um, very soon after the FA decided that Roy Hodgson was going to be the manager and I think from the first conversation I've had with Roy I've tried to back him and give him my best and I was absolutely delighted he got the job because I've worked with him before, um, he made me captain and I think I've played my most consistent football under Roy so I've got a lot to thank him for. I'm on the debate that Jack eventually into this week, do you share his concerns? Is there, is there a line where we have to be careful about players who come to live in this country? Having not been sold here. Well, I think there's the rules already in place. I think FIFA have put rules in place. So I think if players become available through FIFA rules, I think uh, it's only right that the FA look into it. You know, we need to try and gain every advantage we can to try and make the England team as strong as possible. But to be fair to Jack, he's tried to give a very patriotic answer. Um, he loves England, and I don't think he's meant to intentionally disrespect any anyone in any other sport, so, um, but credit to him, you know, he was very strong in his opinion, fair play to him.